depends on this time because of your concrete work when you're in Colorado. You know, I just have to for once in myself. Our last group to take the stage tonight is our high school concert band. I like to brag about this group because they do a lot and they are playing at many different things in many different capacities, marching band, pep band, concert band, they go all over the place all the time. So they're really busy throughout the summer and fall with band camp, fair performance, our two football performances for sales in Fort Army this year, two Halloween parades, and we just had Meet the Team Night and our Veterans Day performance. So they do a lot, and I'm always very proud of them for juggling everything. Our first piece this evening is called A Solar Journey. Featured in the beginning of this piece is senior clarinet player Melina Chappie. We hope that you enjoy the unusual melodies and harmonies of this piece.
Before we play our next piece, I wanted to take an opportunity to talk about our band boosters. Most of you got an insert in your program about becoming a part of the band booster program. And if you didn't get an insert, there's also information on the very back of your program. Band boosters support our students so much. They help us chaperone, they help us provide meals, um, drive the trailer for some of our events, and they provide, again, so much support, and it's so necessary for a high school band program to have a really strong group of parents that can be behind the scenes, help me out, help the students out when we travel in, in other instances. Right now, there are a main group of parents that are carrying the weight and are in need of assistance due to graduating students soon. We are also in need of a seamstress for next year for our uniforms. These are minor alterations that happen, you know, whether a student is maybe too tall or too short to fit into their uniform, just minor adjustments. Nothing too crazy as far as sewing. If you are interested in becoming a part of the Band Booster program, and again, we definitely need more people to step up, please contact myself or Jody Stagel. Both of our emails are on the back of the program, or again, like the insert, on the insert in the program that most of you received. That being said, our next piece is Scarborough Fair, arranged by J Dave Black. You might recognize this folk song melody, but it is set in more of a haunting tone than some versions. Please enjoy Scarborough Fair.
Before we play our last piece, I have a few thank yous I'd like to extend. First, to the Board of Education, Superintendent Ryan Meyer, Principal Jeff Judy, Principal Sarah Roseberry, for their support of the performing arts. Second, to the custodial staff for all of their work setting up the stage and the chairs that you're sitting up in for us to use tonight. Third, to Samantha Stevens, my mentor teacher, for helping me get second opinions on how things sound, listening to my groups, and providing encouragement along the way in preparation for this concert. Also, to the band boosters for all of their support. And lastly, to all of you, the friends and family who support all of these students on stage in their musical endeavors and encourage them never to give up and encourage them to continue on. Our last piece this evening is Marches of the Armed Forces, which honors each branch of the military. If you have served, please stand when your song is played. We thank you for your service. And again, thank you for coming to the fall concert. 